Hey guys, it's Jen from Beauty Riot X, and today we are doing kind of a little collective haul that I have going on. But first, let me mention for anybody who doesn't know or who haven't, hasn't seen any of my videos before, I have a big giveaway coming on. Well, I always say that, coming on. Coming on what? That's what she said. I have a big giveaway going on right now. I'll leave the link below if you're interested. Your final day to participate is going to be Christmas Eve this year, and I'll announce the winner the day after Christmas. So if you wanna know any information, please check the link below in the description box. So I have some, it's mostly drugstore. I have like two or three higher end products, but it's mostly affordable stuff that I have. So let's just get right into it. The first thing I have is something I got Cyber Monday, I believe, on Amazon. And this is the Clarisonic Duo. It's called Flawless in a Flash. And it says the sale price is $42, $49. The value is $62, but I got it for like 30 something. So go figure. And it has the Radiance brush head. I love my Clarisonic. I usually use the deep pore cleansing one, but this one I've never tried before. This is the Radiance head and it comes with the Sonic foundation brush, which I haven't tried yet. So if anybody wants to see a demo of that, let me know, it's supposed to put on your foundation with your Clarisonic. All right, the next thing I have is by Models Own, and if you saw my K-Beauty Cushion Brow video I did not long ago, I mentioned that I was getting this. Well, I just actually used it today, and I liked how my brows came out. Came out. It was a very similar, it was similar to this, although this is already drying out, I noticed. Like, it has a little door, it's supposed to protect it, but, like, there's not, hardly anything on my fingers. And my K-Beauty one. Here's the one I used for my video last week. <laughs> like, can you see that? Because I can. So that's a little odd. Now, mind you, this was on sale for $5, so I can't complain too much. And it did do something on my brows, but I just thought that was weird that it was very, very... It looks like it's drying out. All right, the next thing I have are two Milani blushes. The first one is Coral Cove, which looks so scary, but it's so amazing. And the second one is what I'm wearing today. This is the Blossom Time Rose. Now I have tea, tea Rose, I think is the color, and that was like, and that's like an amazing neutral pink color, which is kind of close to this, but this one's a tad lighter. But this one, I mean, oh my God, I die over this color. Now, mind you, it's not gonna look like that when you put it on, but it's definitely going to give you that really pretty, healthy, flush glow on your cheeks. I've used it a handful of times so far. I love it, but it's one of those blushes that you have to really think about your eye look before you wear this. All right, I have another blush that I got from TJ Maxx today, actually. It was $2.99. It's a CoverGirl blush. And this is the Clean Glow Blusher in Peaches. Now, looking at it, it looks beautiful, like a nice kind of subtle coral orangey blush. Now, I'm not even swatching the light colors, so I'm going to show you this. Like, I'm, I'm guessing you have to be almost translucently pale for this to be able to show up on you. I'm definitely gonna try it. I mean, $2.99, I can't be too mad, but I was hoping for a little more payoff. All right, the next product is from ColourPop, and this is one of their new loose dust powders in Nomi. And this is like the lightest color they have. It's very pretty, but it has like the glitter in it, which it's not too bad. I don't know if you can see it, it's right here. It's not too overly glitter. It's very, very fine glitter, but it's almost kind of to the point where it's tough to keep it on. Like it's almost like every time you apply it, you're brushing it away. I'll keep trying to see if I can figure out a better way to try it. All right, the next thing also is from ColourPop. This is one of their Supernova shadows in Moonlit. I tried it for the first time yesterday and I mean, swatching it as most of you guys have seen, I mean, it's beautiful. It's this very pretty metallic, kind of pink, purple, plum, gold, really pretty color. It is not going like this on the lid. I mean, it looked kind of splotchy and clumpy and after a few minutes it looked okay, but this is not how it looks when you put it on. All right, the next thing we have, I actually have tried as well. I got this off of Amazon because Bourjois is hard to find online. So this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Anti-Fatigue Concealer. I've tried this under my, under my eyes. It's really nice, it's a good color. It coincides with the Healthy Mix foundation that Bourjois puts out. And I get all my Bourjois again from Amazon. The next two products are NYX products, and these are the new eyebrow powder pencils. I have Ash Brown and Taupe. I also did try these as well, and I do like them, but I don't see how they're any different from a pencil. I mean, maybe they're a tiny bit, like, not as hard as a actual pencil, but I'm still trying to mess around with them. And then the last thing in the basket that I have, the rest of the things I have are lip products. The last eye makeup product is by Wet n Wild. And if you didn't hear, they have a whole new formulated collection coming out if it's not if it's not already out, which obviously it is, I have one. This is the new glitter single. Remember their old glitters that were like, oh my God, they look so amazing. And then you actually 
touch them and they're like basically Vaseline with glitter in it. Apparently this is supposed to be like a million times better. So moment of truth, let's go to try. This is the color spiked and it's kind of just like a silvery glitter, so. Still kind of Vaseline-y. <laughs> like look, under that really pretty coating, you can see like it's basically a hunk of Vaseline with, maybe there's more glitter in this now, I don't know, yikes. I don't even know if that is even worth, because this is the kind of feeling thing that, I mean, it looks pretty cool here, but really close up, I mean, can you see that it's, it's kind of chunky and it's definitely greasy. I mean, this is the kind of thing that if you put on your eyeshadow and you don't like it, you just mess up your eyeshadow and it's sticky. So it's probably going to stick. Your eyelid's going to stick to like the top of your eyelid. I don't know about that, but luckily they're only 99 cents. So I don't feel too bad. All right. The rest of the products I have are lip products and I have them in this little pan right here. The first is not a surprise. You've heard me talk about nude sticks in the past. Nude sticks are like they can be used for lip, cheek, eye. I use them all for the lips. I never put cream products on my cheeks, rarely my eyes, unless it's like ColourPop. So these are the Nude Artist Box and these come with six shades and a sharpener. It has the shades Belle, Kiss, Royal, Mystic, Whisper, and Wicked. And I'll show you them all right here. And the thing I love about these sets, I also have the other creator set and it has like a few YouTube creators who have came up with their own colors. So I have six here and this was $59 for all these. By themselves, they're like 20 something. I think they're like $24 alone. I got these for like 59 bucks and it comes with a sharpener, like I said. And actually today on my lips, I'm actually wearing Mystic and Whisper. The next thing I was kind of confused about, well, no, I was excited about. They have a few different shades. These are by Maybelline and it's their metallic lip kits and it comes with a lipstick kind of like a but it's like in a pan and then this like metallic stuff you put over it so basically it comes with lipstick in a pan and eyeshadow i did try this now a lot of brands are doing things like this they are gearing things towards influencers because influencers get the word out 10 times more than probably any other any magazine any commercial influencers have the most influence over beauty now i mean it's just it's just true i feel like this is geared towards that because first off as gorgeous as this looks and it did look cool when i put it on the minute you close your mouth you just mixed it all together and now you have like a light green shimmery lip which again doesn't didn't look bad but it's just kind of like well now what like as long as you don't move like this is for editorial work they have like a pink one i think with gold and like a like i think four combinations you could get i got this one because it just looked the funnest other than that i mean i think it's a fun idea but i mean these are ten dollars so i just think that's a little much i think these are better off to put around like on halloween or something the next handful i have are from ColourPop, and we have these are some of their new holly holly these are some of their new holiday shades and i will swatch them for you this is star crossed i don't usually use their um liquid mattes but this was such a pretty color i had to and as you'll be able to see they're all matte shades all right so starting over here we have star crossed with the band aftershock new rules and jingle ladies which is the purple one at the end so so pretty they're all matte ColourPop can do no wrong in my eyes. I also got the the Snuggle is Real Trio from Dose of Color. I've never tried Dose of Color lip colors before, so I was really excited to get these. I think these are all matte. All right, so we have Let's Cuddle, Lazy Daisy, and Warm and Fuzzy. Really, really pretty. They do dry down matte. And the last lip product I have, and I think it's my last product in general, this is the Kat Von D Thumb Everlasting Lip Liquid Lipstick, is that what it's called? I think this is like her, like the profits go to a animal rescue organization. I think that's pretty cool. And I, I only own like one or two shades like this, but not actually this shade. This dries down matte too, but this is gorgeous. It actually dries down a tiny bit deeper. It's not as like neon as it looks kind of straight out, but this is Thumbelina and it's so, so pretty. I saw it online and I was like, like, I just needed it. You know, when you just need something, you don't know why, you just need it. All right, my friends, that was it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe if you want to see more and hit the notification bell to be alerted to when I upload again. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.